This is our space dinner table. I'll show you what we are having for lunch today with the help of my friend and expedition commander, Gennady Ivanovich. Today, we are lunching with beef fajitas from our American partners. They are contained in this package and need to be reheated first. For this purpose, we have a special food warmer. We put the food item over here under these strings. This surface is hot. Then we close it. And in 10 minutes, we get hot beef fajitas. But let's leave it for now. And go back to our table. I'll just close the warmer. Not to waste tea, as Gennady Ivanovich pointed out. Rye bread. Really delicious, I have to say. Gennady's choice is a can of salmon and jelly. Those are really small cans. As an appetizer. And my appetizer would be eggplant caviar. This is mutton with vegetables. This is a space soup. I will show you how to turn it into real soup. But first, let's go over the rest of the things here. These are biscuits that were delivered by the cargo vehicle 428. They were sent to me by my family. They are really nice and delicious, but unfortunately, they are not included in the standard menu. So my family helps me out here. And this is a cream soup that Gennady Ivanovich, sorry for slang, whipped up for himself. I tear the vacuum package open and cut a hole in the pouch for putting in water. Notice that I don't cut it all the way to prevent that small piece from floating around. It's very important in weightlessness. We don't want any flying particles or objects that can get into your eyes, lungs or somewhere else. There's a valve here that I use to hook up my soup to the water dispenser. The manufacturer recommends mixing it with 200 milliliters of hot water. So I turn it on and press the button. The water starts going into my soup. Hot water. 200 milliliters. And then I shake it like this. I have some drops getting out. To deal with them, I need a towel, but we haven't brought it yet. And in 10 minutes, I will have a delicious vegetable cream soup. Just give it time to dissolve. And to keep it hot, I have this thermos. A personal thermos. Yes, my personal thermos. They send us these sort of Ugg boots here. There are some cold places on the station, and these boots keep your feet warm. By the way, I go on spacewalks in these boots. I put them on before donning a spacesuit. They are very soft. They conserve heat and my feet don't get cold. And they also keep my soup hot. This is what they call street smarts. And now, let's go back to the main course of our space menu. Mutton with vegetables. We have a special heater right here. I turn it on, open it, and put the can in it to heat it up. Yeah, get a closer shot of the slots. There's a special adapter for smaller cans, but my eggplant caviar doesn't need to be heated. But it's possible. You just put in the can like this, and its bottom would touch the heating element, so you can heat up small cans with meat, for example. Close it and turn it on. Wait a minute. And then we put in our bread. Rye bread with coriander. There are special slots for bread here. And wheat and rye bread 
Just like this. Close it, and in 10 minutes we'll get a can of hot main dish. We'll open it and have our space lunch. Well, dear friends, let's get down to our space meal. My lunch is hot now. So, I'm taking the can out. Beef with vegetables. It's really hot. Mutton. Mutton with vegetables, yes. Oh, did I say beef? I misspoke. And then I do this. I already opened one can, so I won't open this one. But this is a regular can opener provided to us by RKK Energia. It has the corresponding logo. Here is my eggplant caviar that I have opened already. We are going to eat it. This is our bread, see? Oops. It went flying. Fingernail size. This is salt, our special space salt. Actually, it's a water-based salt solution. You have to understand what can happen with regular salt in microgravity. It will fly all over the place and can easily get into your eyes. Not a pleasant experience. We have different appetizers. This is a Caucasian appetizer and horseradish and a lot of others. We didn't want to take out everything. They bring diversity into our ration and make it nicer. Here we have a clove of garlic that was sent here on the recently arrived cargo spacecraft with the rest of condiments, food products, apples, and onions. Show the dessert, Misha. Yeah, dessert. We were sent these candies. Both me and Gennady Ivanovich drink tea without sugar for health reasons. So we are chasing it with some candies. Back on Earth, I don't have a sweet tooth, but here, priorities change. And your body starts craving sweets. So this is all I have to say about our space food.